get in, loser. We're going shopping. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica. So happy you could make it here. So welcome to the inside of my car. This is where I'm filming today. <laughs> Totally kidding, but um, I'm actually going book shopping today, so I'm going to take you guys with me. I have a few books in mind that I want to purchase, so I'm going to be doing that, and yeah, we're going to go to Barnes & Noble, pick these books up, walk around a little bit, and just have some fun. So without further ado, let's hit the road, folks. <clears throat> Wait, I got to get these glasses right. They're like crooked on my face. All right, let's go. We're about to go in. I have my face mask, so let's get some books. All right, so I'm here. I'm overwhelmed because there's so many books, obviously. I do have some books in mind that I wanna get. But, I don't know, I'm just gonna look. Um, let's see. I actually heard this book is really good. Memorial by Brian Washington. I have no idea what, what it's about, but I heard that it was really good. Um, so this one I might get, I don't know. Guys, it's, the choices are just so much. Let's go over here. I don't know, am I in the mood for a good romance? No, because I feel like I've read a lot of romance so far, so I want something a little bit more on the serious end. Do I want something scary? Also, I don't know, so we'll, we'll see. Ooh, I've never have read Hank Green before, but I've heard that his book is really good. This one is called A Beautiful Foolish Endeavor. I also heard this one was pretty popular so maybe I'm gonna I'm gonna hold on to this just in case because I think I actually do want to read this do I want fantasy I don't know that's a good question the choices are endless so this book Cersei has been talked about a lot this year, so I think I want to give it a try. Um, it's about, I think it's about like Greek gods, and I love that. We love it, we love it, we love it. So I think I'm gonna actually definitely get this one. I'm trying to find some Tori Morrison books, but I cannot find Toni Morrison everywhere. Like, is she here or is she not? Girl, where are you at? <laughs> back from Barnes & Noble just picked up some really great books I had a wonderful time there I got what I needed I did not get the books that I originally had selected so that's okay I did get three really great books that I have seen around like booktube and Instagram and just books in general that I have been wanting to read for a while so I picked these three books I wish I could have gotten more, but I mean, books are so expensive. So I got three solid ones that I can add to my shelf. Um, the first one is called Silence of Bones by June Herr. Then I got this one by Toni Morrison, um, Paradise. And look at this beautiful orange. I think it is absolutely stunning. We love to see it, love to see it. The third one that I have is Circe by Madeline Miller also incredibly beautiful. I feel like I have three books with amazing and beautiful covers. So it was overall a really good 
book day and I'm really happy with the choices that I've picked. The first book is The Silence of Bones by June Her. This is a South Korean, by a South Korean author and also a YA book. I actually don't read a lot of YA, so it, this is gonna be a real treat for me to read. Um, I'd like to get more into YA. So this one came very highly talked about and highly recommended. I heard that it was so good. It is essentially set in the 1800s during the Chosun Dynasty. And it's about a young woman or young girl, her name is Seoul, which I think is, you know, cool because Seoul is the capital of South Korea. But she is, um, I believe, assist assisting an investigator for a mystery. So I think it's like a murder mystery book. So this is gonna be very interesting. I'm excited to, to read this one. All right, so this next book is called Circe by Madeline Miller. And just get into this cover. This has to be one of my favorite covers right now. I just think it is absolutely stunning. Um, this book I don't know much about. Yep, do a better job, Jessica. Do a better job on picking books you actually know about. But I have also heard a lot of good things about this book. I know a lot of people really like it. Um, I believe it has a lot of Greek gods in it. I think it's about a young woman or young god who's banished to an island and I think she has to like discover her own powers. I'm probably getting the story extremely wrong. Don't quote me on this, but anyway, it has a beautiful cover and I'm sure it has an even more beautiful story inside. So I'm excited to get into this. The last book that I bought is Paradise by Toni Morrison. And I mean, it's Toni Morrison. Do we really need to dive into what this book is about? Just read her, right? Um, but this book I believe is about a massive attack or lots of violence that happens in this very rural and small town in Oklahoma and how the people in this town are dealing with it, specifically the women. And I just love Toni Morrison. She's one of my favorite authors. She's so poetic. The way that she writes is just oh, music to my ears. So I'm really excited to read this. I have heard from a few people that this is actually one of her best works. So I'm excited to dive into this. I'm really curious to see what about this book is good because I've heard a lot of great things about it. So. I think this is gonna be a great addition to my collection of Toni Morrison books. And yeah, I think I had a pretty solid <laughs> book buying time at Barnes & Noble, adding three books to my collection. I have no idea when I'm going to be reading these books, probably in December, kind of going into the new year. So we will see. November is pretty much filled up with my books. So I won't be reading these like anytime soon, soon, but definitely in the near future. So that is it. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for coming to Barnes and Noble with me and book shopping. I know it was probably like chaotic. That's typically how I shop for books. Just go in, pick up a book. If it has a pretty cover, read a little excerpt about it and then I buy it. So. There is no rules to this game, guys. Hopefully you liked this video. If you did, please make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. Not only this video, but all of my videos. If you haven't checked out my last video where I review Get a Life Chloe Brown by Talia Hibbert, go check that out as well. Follow me on Instagram so you can see everything that I post, and I will see you guys next time.